Lincoln Blinken, won't you look me in the eye? Willie Milly, won't you tell another lie? Hands, hands. If you haven't watched that video, I highly encourage you to watch it. Just making a brief uh, talking video while I'm out getting a hike in. Uh, you know, we are, uh, we're witnessing history, people. And uh, I hate that, I've said it many times, I hate that Chinese, I think it's Chinese, it says, may you live in interesting times, but we are literally watching the death of an empire. And uh, you know, how it's gonna turn out remains to be seen. I mean, the globalists are in a full court press to take over and destroy the United States. I think that's become self-evident. The entire system is just completely broken. You know, when you have a, a traitor for the commander of your military, uh, who's talking to the Chinese back in October of last year behind the, the commander in chief then, president, president's back, telling him where he'll let them know if we attack them. I mean, and he's still, <laughs> still in office <laughs> and then you got uh, you know your your secretary of state uh, Blinken you know and he's up there telling uh, you know veterans that are trying to rescue Americans from behind enemy lines that uh, they can't land their planes in the United States I mean <laughs> it's, it's almost absurd it's absolutely absurd when you think about it all and uh, it's just the whole system is broken I mean you know then we got the FBI investigating parents who uh, don't want their kids taught critical race theory by school boards. Uh, and you know, I I feel for those parents. You know, if we had school choice, I mean, see, everything comes down to individual freedom versus the globalist authoritarians. And uh, who's gonna win this battle? I don't know, man. Every day I, I try to take hope in a lot of things and then you get crushed in other ways, you know. Uh, we got, you know, and, and here's, I, I watched Tim Pool, and uh, I kind of agree with him. I think we're at a divide in this country where there's, there's, there's no way, there's, it's, it, it's, it's not salvageable at this point. Because you've got half the country that believes in the Constitution and individual freedom and you have the other half of the country that believes in vaccine mandates and authoritarianism and socialism and Marxism. And uh, I don't see how those two sides come together to agree on anything. You know, you know the, the Democrats want a strong federal government that rules them and it treats them as serfs and slaves and you know, whatever. And, and basically robs from from any working person and gives it to the other people just to maintain their power and you got the other half of the country that just wants to be left alone you know survive on their own farm you know raise chickens and just uh and be free you know like me out here hiking in the forest again all by myself and uh i don't see how those two sides come together I mean, I think, I don't know. I mean, we'll see what happens, but I mean, I'm, I'm married to a Democrat and uh, it's a huge, huge eye-opening experience. I never, you know, 20 years ago or 23 years ago, I mean, well, hell, I was going off to war and everything else, you know, and uh, we, we did a lot of golf trips and stuff and it was, a, it was a happy time. But now, I mean, there's, irreconcilable differences in, in my household. You know, she's all for vaccine mandates and feels like uh, we should tie people down, you know, strap them to a bed, you know, put a bag over their head and stick them, stick a needle in their arm. <laughs> and she's for it. That's what a, that's what a Democrat is. And, and I'm just like looking at her like, you know, I'm horrified. I'm absolutely horrified that somebody could be. So then, you know, you, you say something to a Democrat, like I said, well, you know, you know, Biden's, uh, he's going to raise your taxes or the Democrats are, 
Uh, I said, you're all for that? And she goes, I said, Trump cut your taxes. And then she snaps back and she says, uh, he cut taxes for the 1%. I'm like, no, he cut taxes for everybody. What are you talking about? And uh, I think it's, you know, if you haven't been red pilled at this point, I, and I love that, that phrase, red pilled. Because, <laughs> yeah. you know, these people, I mean, the fiasco, you would think, okay, now if I was, a, let's just say I was a, um, a Republican and Trump pulled out of Afghanistan and left Americans behind enemy lines and uh, working to raise my taxes, you know, full blown Marxist up there, authoritarian uh, government, you know, wielding the FBI to arrest parents for uh, basically uh, protesting in the uh, school board meetings. I think I'd be a Democrat at this point, you know? Uh, I mean, I consider myself independent because, you know, the Republicans, you know, we've got rhinos, a lot of rhinos up there in uh, Congress, uh, Republicans in name only, if you didn't understand. And uh, so, you know, you've basically been voting in, you know, authoritarians for quite some time. It wasn't until Trump broke everything. <laughs> Love him or hate him, he broke everything. I mean, I never knew. I mean, I knew the media back in 2003, and I've discussed this in a other video. I knew the media was was broken and corrupt, and because uh, they were reporting on the war in 2003, Fox News was uh, lying to the American people about what was really happening. You know, like I said, I had to watch Al Jazeera and and uh, uh, BBC back then. BBC was pretty good. So, but I never knew. You know, by the way, if anybody out there is making Let's Go Brandon shirts, would you please put a pocket on them? I don't buy any more t-shirts unless I can get a pocket. Because when I hike, I like to put my Walkman in the pocket. And uh, so I, you know, and I have a bunch of t-shirts, you know, like this one doesn't have a pocket, you know. So I'm not going to buy any more t-shirts without a pocket. But I did want to get a Let's Go Brandon shirt. And uh, boy, I looked all over the internet and I couldn't find one with a pocket. So... If you're, if you're making those, I mean, I could, I guess I should go into business myself, but you know, I'm busy with other things right now. So enough on the, the breakup of the empire and the corrupt news media. I just, I just can't believe it's not self-evident to people right now, how everything is just collapsing, you know, inflation. Today, I, what, I just paid uh, 380 for a gallon of gas. Now, when Trump left office, it was $1.98. And, you know, I, I point this out to my wife, and she just, you know, whatever, whatever, you know. And I'm like, well, you know, don't you think it was important for me to get a motorcycle that got 100 miles to the gallon or to get the Toyota Prius Prime, which gets 133 miles to the gallon? Because, I mean, I knew the writing was on the wall. And, uh, and then she just... I, I don't know what you're talking about. I said, well, he's shut down the Keystone Pipeline. He, he's destroyed the fracking industry, you know, Anmar is, is no more. I said, <laughs> you don't think gas prices are gonna go to $6 a gallon? And, uh, and, and the Democrats, they're, number one, they're all for it. I think they want $6 a gallon, at, which, it, which is ironic because, you know, my Democrat wife is driving a Kia Sorento getting uh, 22 miles to the gallon, and uh, she pays for that out of her, I call it her mad money, you know, because she does have a little bit of a pension and social security, and, uh, you know, and so she has to cover those costs out of her budget, not out of the family budget, you know, but uh, you'd think she's feeling the pinch, right? Oh, man. All right, we'll finish off this video. It's getting a little long-winded. Uh, talk about the trip just a little bit, so... Uh, Last night, and that's why I'm out here late. I'm just going to get dark on me, no doubt about it. Uh, out here in the forest, you know, where I love to be. I'm at Chernobyl again. And the uh, only person here, <laughs> me and the bears and the wild pigs and maybe a few snakes, you know. And uh, just trying to get out and get a motorcycle ride in. Um, but uh, anyway, so I was up till 4.30 or 5 in the morning last night because uh, I got in the, uh, the bidet. Uh, my bidet broke, and I know this is personal, but I don't care, you know, think of me what you will, but the bidet broke on the toilet, and, you know, I've talked about my house here in Florida, which is my fortress of solitude, and I want to come back 
to a fully functional fortress of solitude after I've traveled 10,000 miles. Call me crazy, call me crazy, but that's what I want, you know. So it took me all night long. So just a little footnote for you. If you do have one of those bidet attachments for your toilet, which I think you, everybody should, eh? they, they are really convenient. You use a lot less toilet paper that way. And, uh, but I mean, I saw the need <laughs> to take that thing off every now and then because the other one broke, you know, so I had to take it off. But it, you know, it's, if it hadn't broke, probably a good idea to take it off every now and then and clean everything. <laughs> it was it, oh I don't want to gross you out man I mean it was and that's why it took me till five in the morning all night long but I was determined I was determined I was gonna get the new bidet in and I like the new one better because it's push button you know the other one had a dial and uh, a little footnote for you the uh, the Lux don't buy that one that's uh, that's the one that broke but I got it because it had hot and cold and I I actually paid a plumber to run the hot water over to the toilet because I thought you know it'd be nice to have a little hot water in there and during the winter time even here in Florida and uh, it turns out yeah just 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 get one with cold water you don't need the the doggone uh, hot so hey well let's uh let's finish up the video there so that's that's the latest thing and getting ready for the trip uh all the uh the new mics arrived uh so I got to play with those and figure out if they're going to work with this uh, phone, I'm making the video with the phone this time, not the GoPro. And uh, so I got to check out the new mics. Uh, like I said, I got the bidet put in and a uh, couple more things to do around the house. And uh, you know, I called the campground up, up in the panhandle and uh, where we'll be staying. You know, tents are ready. Camping equipment is ready for the most part. I'm still buying, spending money I ain't got. You know, I'm, I'm, I, every time I see something that I'm going to need, like another tube of seam sealant or, you know, some, some tint uh, treatment, uh, waterproofing, you know. I'm just, I, I'm just throwing money around like it's a, it's, I'm crazy, you know. Go on a 10,000 mile journey and see how much money you spend. Uh, you know, today I've, I've capped off the gas tanks and the motorcycle and the car, you know. And uh, so it's just, you know, it's, it's like checking a checklist. Check, 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 check. I get, have I got everything done? No, let's do this, let's do that, let's do the other. All right, man, let's, let's give the mantra. Freedom, oh, freedom. Good to live in the free state, free Republican state of Florida, under the great leadership of DeSantis, where we have no vax mandates, no mask requirements, and we're free to work and do what we need to survive. Peace out and be free. So, <laughs> you know, go on these crazy hikes. I just wanted to tack on just a little tidbit here to the video. I'm looking at a deer right now. There he goes. Just took a beautiful sight. But, uh, oh, there goes another one. Woo. Man, hunters would be going crazy right now. Uh, but anyway, I, I just wanted to continue with that discussion, you know, about Tim Pool and, you know, how we've reached a, that divide that I was talking about. I mean, you tell me, why don't you leave a comment below? If you see how people who are for individual freedom and uh, want a small federal government and low taxes and uh, just want to go on about their business and uh, be left alone can exist with authoritarians that want to be able to tell them that you have to wear a mask or you have to, you know, uh, stick a needle in your arm or else you're going to lose your job. Um, oh, and I, I did not talk about that. You know, what's happening? I mean, it's uh, unbelievable. I think I talked about it in a previous video. A lot of Navy SEALs wouldn't get the jab. And uh, I don't know how many people we've lost in the military, but you got that woke idiot, uh, uh, Traitor Millie up there talking about you know he's going to teach uh, critical race theory throughout the military and uh and basically fire anybody that won't get the jab um you know that's a lot of taxpayer money that we put into training those people and they are the best of the best of the best and we're just letting them go with that's why i said it's the death of an empire you know when you're losing your best military soldiers uh just because you want to show how 
you know, you're, you're in control and you're an authoritarian and you're not going to allow individual choice, you know, how's the military going to survive when you're losing the best of the best of the best? And then a lot of, a lot of nurses now and doctors have quit. Uh, it just seems like the whole nation is crumbling uh, because of these authoritarians that, you know, they want to tell you to wear six masks on your face uh, because it, it makes them feel powerful. You know, I talked about the gala where all the Hollywood folks showed up and none of them had masks on, but they made their servants, the serfs or the slaves or whichever one you want to call them, which they they're treated with disdain. It was disgusting and uh, made them wear masks, you know, and uh, so you can see how the authoritarians are creating a huge divide in this country. And that's, uh, so what I, you know, I keep telling my wife, I said, go move to California, man. You'd be much happier there. You know, and I tell her to go to maybe New York. You know, those are two Democrat strongholds where, you know, if you're a Democrat, don't come to Florida, you know, be sure to move where you're welcome. You know, California, lots and lots of Democrats there. They'll welcome you with open arms, you know, but don't come to Florida. We have a lot of Republicans here. And we don't want you, you know. That's it. Video's too long. It's gonna, it'll be it'll be uploading all night long, and probably YouTube will take this down. But uh, I will put it over. Um, oh, that's another thing I didn't tell you about that I'm in the process of doing. And I think you know, if you're a YouTuber, or, you know, if you do anything, be sure that you're backing everything up. I mean, I've I've copied now my videos over to my two servers. I'm backing it up to a. Um, an external hard drive because I got to free up the disk space on the laptop to get it ready for the trip and then I'm also backing all the videos up on the rumble I bet rumble scratching their head right now how the hell does this guy make so many videos <laughs> it's so fast because I mean my computer I'm surprised it didn't smoke in right now because I, I every time I, I get wake up you know I'm, I'm uploading a video to rumble you know so I'm trying to get all of that done before I go on the 10,000 mile journey because I do want to make some really good hiking and camping uh, videos on this trip and uh, I think it's going to be, in, in a way I'm looking forward to it, I, I would much rather just stay here in Florida. But anyway, peace out, just wanted to add that little clip to the video. But you tell me, how do authoritarians live with people who value the Constitution and uh, want individual freedom? I don't see how it's going to work. I don't see how it's going to work, people. It's kind of like back in the Civil War. You had people that were against slavery, and you had people that were for slavery. And guess what? They weren't able to work it out, were they? Peace out. So I've never been out in the Florida forest at night before. <laughs> so, and I don't even have a flashlight or a headlamp, but I wanted to get this on the video. See, this is what I'm seeing. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? A little half moon. Remember uh, Kamala Harris talking to those kids, talking about the craters on the moon. Oh, we got an open border. There are thousands of people coming across. But we're going to talk to school kids who are actually paid actors, from what I understand, and uh, talk about the moon. <laughs> but I mean, at least, I, at least as it gets dark on me, I've got some good scenery. I just thought I'd get one last video to show you. How beautiful it is. I mean, I didn't want to be out here in the dark and riding that motorcycle in the dark is dangerous, you know, at least for me because I'm old and blind and, you know, whatever. But uh, this is what the hike looks like. And I had to get out and do something today. Maybe I bit off more than I can chew here because, uh, you know, I've never hiked in the dark out here in the forest before. So this will be a, this will be a new experience for me. Peace out. Boy, you do see a lot more wildlife in the <laughs> in the evening when it's getting dark on you. Something big and black. I don't know if it was a bear. Just cut across the trail right down here. So I figured I'd add that to the, the video in case uh, all they find is a phone <laughs> before I get back to my motorcycle. So one more look at the moon. There you go. So, so far, Seen a couple deer, something big and black. I couldn't tell what it was. Moving pretty fast though. And uh, we'll just keep on going. As it gets darker, 
<laughs> and darker. There's the moon again. I'm kind of realizing one little thing. With the, and the grass is a little bit long, you know. They haven't cut this in, in a while, but more and more I can't see where I'm putting my feet. <laughs> so, so there is a good strong possibility you could step on a snake and if you're going to be out hiking in the dark with no snake leggings on. So uh, probably not a good idea, but I'm. I think I'm gonna. I'm, I think I'm gonna make it because see this fence. That means I'm getting near the the end of this hike. It's a little five five k or five mile loop. I'm not sure which it says on the sign, which we won't be able to see because it'll be dark by the time I get there. But I did want to show you the moon one last time. That's what I'm seeing, and that's where I'm going. I'll try to get this on the video. We're coming up on something. I'm guessing these might be deer. See it? See it moving? No, it's too small for a deer. That could be a could be a um, what's that? Dag on it? Bunch of them. See them? See them moving? I don't know what that is. I don't know if I can get to even see this on the video, but uh, those dogs attacked me, and I. Uh, you know, luckily I had the selfie stick. Let's see if I got it on the video. And uh, man, I tell you, I was able to. I poked one right in the head. <laughs> and I was swinging this thing like a baton around, you know. And they were coming at me. And of course, these, when they they circle you, you know, they want to get behind you. So luckily, I was able to back up to the uh, to the weeds over here. And uh, I was I was gonna bash one's head in with a selfie stick. And uh, luckily, uh, they they gave up on me and the. The woman that was uh, the idiot. And that's the thing. You can't deal with stupid people, people. You know, that's that's the problem. We've got too many stupid people in this world. You know, if you're going to be out walking your damn dogs, have them on a leash. You know, she's just thinking nobody's out here. She could have seen my motorcycle in the parking lot. But uh, luckily, I didn't have to kill the dogs. Just want to let you know, all you animal lovers out there, I didn't kill the dogs. Did poke one in the head, though. 